Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Otaku Heaven here, coming at you with another video about what's going on with me in One Piece. As I'm coming back to the anime review world, what I'm going to tell you is that I have, so far, dropped the anime version of One Piece until Dressrosa is finished. Then I'll probably do a Dressrosa review after I rewatch it. And I'm still reading the manga. So, I've read chapter 795 and I'm going to tell you where I think the future of One Piece is headed. For starters, let's talk about everybody's favorite topic, future straw hats. Now, some of the things that have been tossed up to me are Leo, Rebecca, Bartolomeo, and Cavendish. I personally think he's going to get two crew members right now, as soon as Dressrosa is over. The two crew members are not going to be Leo, because Leo is going to want to protect Princess Mansherry, so he's going to stay there with her. Rebecca is not well received by the community, so I don't think Oda would choose Rebecca, so that eliminates them too. And Viola is definitely a possibility. I've been tossed that too, I didn't say it a second ago, but I just thought of it. But she would be a very technical member of the Straw Hats, and we only have really one technical member so far, and that's um Robin. Well, and Chopper, because Chop... I mean, what did I say Chopper? Usopp. Yes, Usopp is a technical member because he can build weapons for the crew and he can... He's a sniper, I mean. You can't really get more technical than that in a fighting scenario. Additionally, the two people that I think that are gonna join the crew have, are Bartolomeo and Cavendish. The reasons why is we really don't have too much of a defense guy. We have a guy that can beef shit up and we have a guy that can be macho about it, but we don't have a guy that can protect the ship. And so I think Bartolomeo will be that guy. And I don't think he'll join as like a full-fledged top crew member or anything. I think he's going to be like a swabby, but not in the same way you would imagine a real swabby, but he'll be a lesser member of the crew. Um, not that Luffy would treat him like that. He'll just seem like that because if you think about it, Shanks looked up to Roger, and Roger was, um, you know, the, I mean, Shanks was the swab boy for Roger's boat, and Cavendish, on the other hand, he wants fame. Where is he going to get fame? Luffy ship, because Luffy ship is definitely going to make fucking waves. Law's already foreshadowed it, um, Dolph Flamingo knows about it. And he's the natural enemy of the Celestial Dragons. So, yeah. Cavendish is going to get his fame there. There's no way around that. If he wants fame, that's where he's going to go get it. Um, plus, as far as we know, we haven't really seen him in a crew yet. Which makes him a prime candidate. On the other hand, Bartolomeo, I think he said he had a crew or something. I don't, I don't remember. But, um, further on into this, I'm going to talk about story production story progression I do not personally think that they're gonna be able to fuck with Kaido not now not anytime soon the reason being is fuck you read chapter 795 if you're watching this so you know how badass Kaido is and right now he's in front of Kid and um, Bossel Hawkins and Scratch Manapu which I think he's gonna bash them off as just some new world losers that just came in so He's gonna might maybe beat their ass a little bit and then go on or either let them escape or something and let them grow so he can fight them then. Because, I mean, he tried to jump from fucking basically Skypea and just bitched about a headache. So I really doubt that them three are gonna be able to take him down. But in the future, I do think that um, Kid will take down one of the four warlords because I do think Kid is gonna become one of the four lords. So, yeah, there's that. And right now, Luffy and them cannot fight an admiral or a fucking, um, before warlord on par. It's not where he's at yet. So, I think after Zo, but when he reaches Wano Kuni, he's gonna get some kind of secret technique. Him and the main fighters of the Straw Hats, maybe even Chopper, because his. Oda's got to find some way to bring Chopper's bounty up. He's not going to leave it a joke forever. Um, Jimbei, I also think, is going to appear there. It's 
almost a baseless reason, but um, Jinbei's always had the samurai kind of look to him. Not only because of his fishman karate, but he's got the sword on his belt. He's wearing he's wearing basically what's a sash. So I think that foreshadows um, I mean, like I said, it's a very loose theory, but I think that foreshadows his showing up at um, Yuano Kuni, and that's when he's gonna join the crew because let's face it. He has to join the crew sometime soon because if he just joined the crew right but before the big final fights, then um, you know he not, he don't have time to build with the crew and you know everybody ain't gonna go for that. And they will. I mean, it ain't their choice, but they're gonna like it better if you know he's actually building with the crew because Jimbe is one of the favorite characters. Um, also, Big Mam. I believe it's going to be Luffy's first fight, not Kaido. Because, as I said, um, Kaido's a fucking beast. So, he's not going to be a fuck with him anytime soon. Big Mam, I believe, is the weakest of the four warlords. Um, or the Yonko, rather. But, Blackbeard is almost on Kaido's level, or slightly greater. So, what I think is going to happen is, right now, Kaido's going after Doflamingo. So, Kaido's not really worried with Luffy yet, not until he kills Doflamingo. And then Big Mam is already having a somewhat, Big Mam's crew rather, is having a somewhat skirmish with Luffy's, half half of Luffy's crew anyway. So they're already starting to fight. Now what I think is going to happen is shortly after Wano Kuni, or at the very end of Wano Kuni, Big Mam will appear and that's when the fight between Luffy and Big Mam will go down. All the Straw Hats, all the main Straw Hats will have their new techniques. Um, Big Mam will be ready to fight. Because she found and located Luffy. Luffy's going to get away with like Kuda Burst or something right here. Um, after Zo. Or either they're going to beat the um, Big Mam's little lackeys. And they're going to go back and tell Big Mam. Big, Mam, Big Mam's going to regroup. And they're not going to find Luffy until Wayno Kuni or the island after Wayno Kuni. Maybe even somewhere in between. And on to the last topic. The last topic is Luffy's future form. There's been a lot of debate about whether Luffy's going to get another form because if they're following the gear mechanism, most shifters have are five speed, but there are six speed shifters, so there is a chance for a gear sixth. Now, people speculate, or at least one popular YouTuber that has thousands and thousands of views speculate right now that um he's going to get like a monkey god form focused off the Sun Wukong, which. I covered in an earlier video about a year or two ago about the Ryu Jing Bang, which is a, a pole that can extend forever, basically. And it was carried by Sun Wukong, which I don't think it's going to look anything like his depiction of it on, or whoever's depiction he used of it, because it looks too much like Naruto, and I don't think Oda would cop Kishimoto's kind of style like that, so, um,. I think Luffy might become a little bit bigger, like um, Gear 4, but stressed down on the arms and almost like a vulcanized cannon with both arms, if you can imagine a cannon in it. And he can vulcanize his punches now. He could also get the properties of fire and electricity, which we already know he can harness fire somehow. We don't really know how, that hasn't been explained yet. Some speculate steam and some speculate other stuff. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it too much. But my depiction of his final form is like going to be a big ass cannon orange with, you know, big equally legs to match. And almost like, you know, the dude from Water 7 with the big round chests. Or not Water 7, but that's way back. The Baratier with the big round chest. His chest is going to be like that, but it's going to be completely round, almost almost like a ball or an oval. And that's going to be his final form, and he can vulcanize punches, he can control fire and potentially electricity. I'm not so sure about the electricity one yet, but um, he'll be able to move at speeds faster than second gear or either at second gear speed and still be able to harness all that same things. But with that will come huge drawbacks. How I see it going is the drawbacks will sicken him like Second Gear did, which he's been following the Roger story pretty closely. So I think that sickness is going to be incurable. Chopper 
won't be able to cure that sickness. He'll be able to cure every sickness in the world except that one sickness. And that's what will kill Luffy. Or, that's the way I imagine it going, but there's one more outcome. Luffy gets this sickness. He's about to die. And Chopper realizes his goal by saving Luffy. That's the last sickness he needs to cure. And he cures that to attain his goal. Luffy remains alive. Luffy dies by being beheaded, just like Roger, in order to inspire a future group of pirates. And everyone else goes into hiding. That's the way I see One Piece rolling out. That's it, guys. Peace.